First of all, I, I bought some um, frozen um, cauliflower. Uh, it says chopping it all up, but you can do it with fresh cauliflower as well. And uh, I'm just going to start off. I was going to steam it, but actually I put a bigger pan for that. So I'm just going to put, add a little bit of uh, water and not steam it. Now, uh, because the sink in the filling is still cooking, then you can, after steaming or after cooking your cauliflower, you could add the water to the um, steak in the filling. Oh, okay. And any nutrients that have leaked out from the cauliflower uh, can then um, be added to the steak and kidney. Okay. This is a 680 gram bag. Okay. So, that leaves, uh, so that would be six. It depends on the portion size, really. It wouldn't be, you'll see the amount it makes. It won't make a huge amount uh, portion for, per person for six people. Okay. It'd be absolutely ample for four. Okay. But because with the steak and kidney pie, we're having um, the cauliflower mash and we're having vegetables as well, okay. it should be absolutely fine. Okay. So I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, boiling water. This is the boiling water tap, so uh, but if you've um, got a kettle and um, just add a little bit of boiling water, not too much, and then we'll add the um, the lid. So no salt, you don't add anything to that? No, not at all. You salt the cauliflower mash at the end to okay. taste. So there we go. So we cook that until it's very soft, so just kind of stick your knife in. The cauliflower is very soft, then it's time to blend so it. So a lot softer than you would normally cook cauliflower? Um, well, not al dente, which is kind of the crunch. Yeah. You want to make it quite soft, yes. Okay. So what we need to do now, this has had chance, the cauliflower has had chance to uh, cool a little bit. It's going to blend it and then add uh, garlic and butter and cream. Okay. So you don't need to add garlic if you don't want to, if you don't no, want to. No, no, it's completely optional. Um, so I'm just going to add this to the uh, blender. And then to help it blend, I'm just going to add a little bit of butter as well. Okay. Do you put any seasoning in other than garlic? Oh, when you rewarm it in the pan to, to serve, then salt and pepper, uh, I'm going to add some garlic and, and add in cream, just it gives it that nice cream. But look at that. Doesn't just that like look it. Yeah, it does. like, like um, mashed potato? Yeah. And I think sometimes when people adopt the low carb lifestyle, they, they want to kind of still have their own traditionals and so we made today the steak and kidney pie and, and we've got mash, it just happens to be mashed cauliflower mm. rather than mashed potato. Should be absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do now is put it back in the pan, uh, add the garlic uh, and some cream and salt and pepper and make another taste. Now I could have put that in a small pan, you can see that a whole bag of cauliflower actually um, you know, mushes down <laughs> to uh, much less. Um, Certainly enough for three or four, you know. Definitely enough for three or four people, yeah. So, chopped it from garlic earlier, we've got it in the garlic press. Okay. And I'm just, as I said, it's completely optional, but if you want to give it that kind of a little bit more of a garlicky taste, then add in. Again, fresh I garlic. suppose you could add cheese if you want like a cheesy mash. Yeah. Try it. Right, yeah. I'm going to add salt and pepper to taste. So there's a lot of salt in there. Some pepper. And some cream. Again, do you use double cream? I use double cream in everything. Um, so the uh, double cream has got less carbohydrates in than single cream, and uh, it just gives that extra. Uh, injection of fat which helps to satisfy the appetite. Mm -hmm. So, a smidgen of, um, I'm going to warm this up. Now you don't want to warm it up too much because it will separate the cream. So you just need to low heat it up on a, on a low heat. And how many, um, per portion roughly, how many um, carbohydrates are you having? Oh, you're having on you about five portions. Let's have a look. Five grams of carbohydrate per portion. Um, so it says here, 
if you use uh, 900 grams of cauliflower and we use 680 okay. grams of cauliflower that is six servings so we've got about four servings here so a quarter of this amount will give you around 195 calories and five grams of carbohydrate and how many would there be in the equivalent of potatoes about a tablespoonful of carbohydrates 15 grams of carbohydrate so you about a tablespoon of potatoes yeah about a tablespoonful of potato mashed potato so Similar portion size to what you have in here, rather than being 5 grams of carbohydrate in the cauliflower mash, you perhaps get about 45 or 50 grams of carbohydrate it's a huge difference. in the potato mash, huge. yes. I think it is doing now. Do you want to taste and no, just see what do. you think? You can see the um, it consistency. Does look really, it does just look looks like, like mashed potato. That is lovely. Yeah. Do you like the garlic taste in it? I love the garlic taste. Right. The cream comes through. It still is a little bit grainy, so right. it's not exactly as you would find um, mashed potato, but certainly um, a boiled cauliflower taste is not there. No, and that's what people think. Yeah, that's what people Does it just think, taste yeah. like cauliflower? Yeah. And I think because we've added taste to it by adding fat to it. Mm. That's then, lovely. Yeah, excellent.